All right, guys. Today, we're going to do chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs. If you don't know what a fat bomb is, it's a ball of fat that tastes really good, kind of like a dessert for people who eat low-carb food or ketogenics. And so that's what we're doing today. So let's get started on these low-carb uh, chocolate chip cookie dough fat bombs. All right, today we're going to be using some 100% cocoa. It's like a dark chocolate. All right, we're going to chop that up. Some butter, vanilla, almond flour, swerve sugar replacement. Is that the confectionery one? Yeah. And salt. All right, first thing you want to do is whip the butter until it's light and fluffy. Next thing you want to do is add the sugar, add the salt, and add the vanilla. All right, next thing we're going to do is incorporate the almond flour slowly into the mix. So there's no more dry spots. Okay, it's time to take the chocolate chips or the broken up chocolate like we have and you're going to fold it into the mixture. Remember what I talked about. The reason why we fold it in so you don't mess up the chocolate chips. Now you're going to take this mixture, pop it in the refrigerator 15 to 20 minutes just to get it slightly firm. Then meet me back at the table with the mixture. Okay, here we go. Our cookie dough has been in the refrigerator for a while. It's really cold, so we want to grab it with a cookie scoop. And you're going to reach in there and scoop out some, some dough, bring it up the side. And you're going to put it right on the cookie sheet like that. And you can do a whole bunch of those, okay? Some may have chocolate, some may not have chocolate. I wouldn't worry about it. All right, guys, these cookie dough bombs will last one week in the refrigerator, one month in the freezer. So you're walking by the freezer and you get this great um, aching in your heart for something sweet. And you grab one of these and you pop them in your mouth. That's what these are for, to take care of your sweet tooth. So anyway, let's try it out. Okay. Don't expect it to be as sweet as regular cookie dough. But they are sweet because of the sugar substitute. It tastes good. With the chocolate inside crunching. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Into the freezer these are going. Alright? You guys try it out. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.